You guys, CalDigit just released my dream doc. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, I am beyond excited today because I'm talking about this guy right here. I have been a huge lover of the TS3 and the TS3 Plus docs from CalDigit. And this is their new TS4 dock, which is their super powerful Thunderbolt 4 dock that is great for the latest generation MacBook Pros. Just a couple of the high-end specs to kind of wet your whistle before getting into all the details. This new TS4 dock can deliver 98 watts of power, has a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port, and has 20 watt USB-C ports that can even use MagSafe. There's a lot to love here, so let's go ahead and dig into this and compare it a little bit with the existing TS3 Plus dock. So here it is in all of its glory the TS4 dock from CalDigit. This thing has a bunch of ports, 18 ports in total. There's a lot to love and pretty much stuff for everybody. I've always been a fan of the CalDigit design. It was great with the TS3 and the TS3 Plus, and the TS4 is even better. Some of the small things, like the fact they've changed all the text on here to black instead of white and they retain things that worked really well. They include these little strips in the box that go right into the grooves. So if you want to use it horizontally, you have rubber feet in there. But if you prefer to use it vertically, there's a rubberized foot on the bottom instead. So you can really use it in any orientation that you like. Okay, let's run through the port on the front of the device, starting off with these two card readers. There's an SD UHS-2 and a micro SD UHS-2 card reader. There is a combo audio jack. There is a USB-A 3.2 Gen 2 port that does 10 gigabit per second of data and 7.5 watts of charging. This is an offline charger, so it'll work even when not connected to your computer. The two ports down here, USB-C data ports, they can each do 10 gigabit per second of data. They are both USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 ports. The first one will do 20 watts of power, while that second one will still deliver 7.5 watts. Okay, now let's run through all of the ones on the back. Starting in the top left corner with a 2.5 gigabit ethernet, we have four USB-A 3.2 Gen 2 ports, all that do 10 gigabits per second of data. The first two do 7.5 watts of power, while the second two do 7.5 watts of power, but do offline charging when this is not connected to your Mac, so those will always work to charge. Then we have an input audio and an output audio. There is another USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port, does 10 gigabits per second of data and 7.5 watts of power output. We have a Kensington lock security slot down here, the power input. There are three Thunderbolt 4 ports. The first port here, this is the upstream host port that does 98 watts of power to your Mac. And then the two other Thunderbolt 4 ports to daisy chain your other devices, they can deliver 15 watts of power. And all of the Thunderbolt ports will do 40 gigabits per second of data. Then finally, the last of the 18 ports is a DisplayPort 1.4 port. I've been using the CalDigit TS4 for a little while now, and here are a few things that I love. First up, those SD card slots. One, there are two of them, which means I can use two cards at the same time. Additionally, because there's a micro SD card slot here, it means that I don't need to use an adapter if trying to use the onboard one with my MacBook Pro. This is by far more convenient. Now, I don't know for sure the speeds, but Apple has confirmed that the UHS-2 card reader on the MacBook Pro is only up to 250 megabytes per second. SD 4.0 allows up to 312 megabytes per second of read and write speed, which these say they support, full SD 4.0. So if that's the case, these could also be quicker than what we're seeing on board the latest generation MacBook Pros. Then we have the port selection. There are two USB-C ports on the front. USB-C is what I'm always looking for. I'm always looking for that. And they don't often have them in a lot of docks and hubs, just a lot of USB-A. But with two ports here on the front, it makes them easily accessible. And the one can do up to 20 watts of power. So I can actually use MagSafe with the TS4 Plus. I can plug in my MagSafe charger and use MagSafe at my desk with 20 watts of power. 
it's absolutely amazing and something I missed out on with a lot of other hubs. Let's compare these two guys. I know you're curious about this because I was. This is the new CalDigit TS4, while this is the CalDigit TS3 Plus. This thing has been incredibly popular. Here you can see the size difference between the two devices. The TS4 is just slightly taller and maybe a hair thicker than the TS3 Plus. It also is a little bit deeper, but not by a lot. If we look at the depth here, you can see the rubberized bottoms on each of these. The TS4 just slightly taller, maybe a hair thicker. But otherwise, these two are very similar in their designs. We saw the difference in the front ports, now take a different look at the back. You can see some things that have changed. We still have DisplayPort going on. We lost that Toslink optical audio on the new version. There's just a couple different audio ports going on. Um, but we have a lot of changes between these two. The TS4 is by far the superior hub, but sticking with a very familiar tried and true design that we saw with the TS3 and TS3+. Plus. As I mentioned, this also supports offline charging on many of the USB ports. In fact, all of the USB-C ports, the front USB-A port, and two of the four rear USB-A ports all offer offline charging when this is not connected to a host device. That means you can always be charging your iPhone, Apple Watch, iPad, and almost anything else even when this is not connected to your Mac. That's a big limitation with some hubs and I am stoked to see that included in the TS4. There's one thing though that I wish that the TS4 had, and that is an HDMI output. The displays here are great. You can power an 8K display with the TS4 or two 6K displays at 60 Hertz, which is still great, but they're using DisplayPort 1.4. Not many of my devices use DisplayPort or DisplayPort 1.4, and I could get an adapter and go that route but it's just annoying. Most of my devices do use Thunderbolt or USB-C, but HDMI is just much more commonplace. There is an HDMI port on the latest generation MacBook Pros, but I don't want to use the onboard port. I want all of my devices to connect to one hub, so I have one cable to connect and disconnect at all times. I want to have one Thunderbolt 4 cable plugged into my TS4 that has everything from my drive to my accessories to my monitor, all connected. It makes it much easier to get up and go without connecting and disconnecting multiple cables. Multiple cables also look more cluttered when connected to your MacBook Pro. So if I had my choice, that DisplayPort 1.4 would be gone and an HDMI port would be in its place. Thunderbolt has some neat advancements with Thunderbolt 4 then Thunderbolt 3. For instance, you're seeing we have those multiple downstream Thunderbolt ports. That's because of Thunderbolt 4. We're also getting that great amount of power delivered to our Mac and the other benefit is that this will work on non-Thunderbolt 4 devices. If you have USB 4.0 devices or if you have Thunderbolt 3 devices, you can still use the TS4 and many of its capabilities. There will be some limitations, but many of its features will be available on those older devices. So instead of picking up a TS3 or a TS3 Plus, you may just want to get a TS4 and then you're future-proofed for any future Macs that you may pick up. It also makes it a great docking device for the latest generation iPad Pros that do have USB 4.0. You can take advantage of a lot of this technology while connected to your tablet. So that's it. That's the CalDigit TS4. This isn't a sponsored review. I just really like this dock. It has more ports than any Thunderbolt dock I've had. It's got blazing fast ethernet connection. It's got tons of offline power and high wattage power outputs for both my Mac as well as accessory devices. They pretty much just knocked out of the park here. HDMI is the only limitation that I see, and if anyone's looking for a TS4 or a Thunderbolt 4 dock or hub, this is probably the one that I'm gonna recommend. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments or over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU, and if you wanna grab one of these for yourself, I put a link down below in the description. Stay tuned, subscribe, and enable those notifications, and I'll catch you next time.